Okay, on this one we're asked to solve this radical equation. The, big, the first step that we want to do is to get rid of this square root symbol. And the way that we do that is to square both sides. So let's do that now. This is 6p minus 32. And all I'm going to do is square that side. But what I do to one side of my equation, I have to do to the other. So p minus 4 squared. Okay, now on this one, the square root and the squared cancel each other out. So I'm left with whatever's inside of that radical, in this case, is 6p minus 32. Now, and if I'm going to square p minus 4, you can FOIL that one if you want to. Uh, we'll show you how to do that in another video, but your answer would be p squared minus 8p plus 16. All right, now what we want to do is we want to get everything onto one side. So I'm going to subtract 6p from this side, which means I'm going to need to subtract 6p from this side. So that's going to leave me negative 32 is equal to p squared minus 14p plus 16. Now I want to get my 32 under the other side as well, so I've got plus 32 plus 32. That's going to leave me 0 is equal to p squared minus 14p plus 48. Now I can quickly identify that this one, you can plug it into the quadratic formula if you'd like, that will work. You can graph it on your calculator if you'd like, that will also work. Um, but I can quickly identify that this one, I can factor really easily. So I need two numbers that multiply together to give me 48 but when you add them together, give you negative 14. I can quickly identify that that is negative 6 and negative 8. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to rewrite this right back up here. That's p minus 6 times p minus 8 equals 0. I move my 0 to the other side, but it doesn't change its value at all. So now I set up my two equations. p minus 6 is equal to 0 p minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, add 6 to both sides. p is equal to 6. I add 8 to both sides. p is equal to 8. So my answer on this one is p is equal to 6 and 8. And you always want to plug these back in to make sure that they're going to work, that you don't have any extraneous solutions. So you can plug in 6 for p. Um, and make sure that will work, and then you can plug in 8 for P as well and make sure that will work, but they both work, so you're, you should be good to go on this one.